Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a lovely two-disc set of orchestral works by Japanese iconic composer Toru Takamitsu. This is part of the series, um, well, maybe you've seen some of them. Originally, they were issued on Denon Records, and they're still around. You can get them in Japan, featuring the Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Hiroshi Wakasugi. Um, now, this is a big, long series. I have some of them down in the overflow room. But Brilliant Classics took two of them and stuck them together on a couple very well-filled, well, reasonably well-filled, hour-each discs. And so this is a wonderful way to get a, a pile of orchestral works by Takamitsu. Now, Takamitsu is a, a fascinating composer in many respects. He is a modernist, an avant-gardist in some ways. Um, his stylistic inspiration is largely French. French with overlays of possibly the second Viennese school. He does some, you know, atonal stuff and some texture stuff. He is a chord guy not a line guy. He's interested in sound, texture, the feeling of color, um, not interested in contrapuntal rigor so much. And his music has certain recurring themes that flow through it, a series of works. And you know, th those themes are the idea of water, water, rain, water, dampness, oceans, things like that. There's water. There's gardens, lots of gardens, Japanese gardens, beautiful gardens, gardens in which you have a, an orchestral or instrumental environment um, and you encounter certain objects placed in the garden. It's a really beautiful image and it, it governs the form of many of his orchestral works. And also um, autumn, the idea of autumn, November and autumn and fall and this sort of nostalgia for for things past but also also this this concept of of loss and, um, and not tragedy particularly but wistfulness a lot of the music is very very gentle it's very soft and blurry um, but it can be it can be ferocious too I um, mean he's really quite quite a character and this disc contains let's just tell you what's on it these two discs and turn you loose um, and then we'll talk about some other works of his, too, because he really is just phenomenal. On other discs, there's a wonderful series on BIS and uh, a bunch of other labels. Seiji Ozawa has done uh, some terrific Takamitsu recordings. But <clears throat> we begin with Requiem for Strings, which is one of those elegiac autumnal kinds of works. Next comes November Steps, which is a mixture of Western and Japanese instruments, the Japanese instruments being the biwa and the, let's see, the shakuhachi. You should have your shakuhachi in your closet. Everyone has a shakuhachi, right? But the interesting thing about this is what Messian says about it is that this is not an attempt to integrate Western and Japanese inf uh, instruments. He says just the opposite. The, ja the Western instruments are Western and the Japanese are offset. They are interlopers. They are, they are highlighted soloists within the context of the Western instruments. So don't think you're going to hear this sort of blob of things. No, not at all. You hear these wonderful, wonderful sonorities. Um, oh, and the cat is jumping around. Yes, wonderful sonorities with Japanese instruments highlighted. Yes. And then we've got, let's see, far calls coming, coming, Far, yes, far calls coming far for violin and orchestra and visions for orchestra. Most of the titles of these things, um, the interior tempo things are in French, reflecting his love of French music and particularly Messian and Debussy. As I said, there are two visions for orchestra. One is marked Mystère. Also, this may recall Dutilleux, Mystère de l'instant, things like that, you know, mystery. Mystery, impressionist mystery. It's very, very French. Yes. And then let's see, what's the other thing? Les yeux clos, the, the closed eyes. Poetic, isn't it? 
Okay, disc two, we have one of his major, major, big, 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 big orchestral works. Gemo for oboe, trombone, two orchestras, and two conductors. Now, as you might guess, with this somewhat Ivesian combination of things, there's going to be a, a bit of cacophony, which there is, and some incredibly virtuosic writing for these two soloists, the oboe and the trombone. Now, this has four movements, and you can really tell from the, it's, it's his most messianic piece, or one of them, because you've got a strophe and an anti-strophe, sort of like Messian's chronochromie, something like that, and Genesis and Traces. I mean, it's a, this is a four movement, almost a symphony kind of thing. And then we have, let's see, Dream and Windows for orchestra, because dreams, dreams are another one of those recurring images in, in, in Takamitsu's music. It's always this, this dream state, this dream suggesting a sort of formal freedom, a blurring of outlines. But like Radovara with his angels, dreams are not always like sweet dreams. They are, they are spooky and mysterious and, and otherworldly and sometimes quite frightening. And finally, Spirit Garden, one of his garden pieces, which is absolutely delicious. I love Spirit Garden because like I said, you, you, you sense the landscape and then you encounter things in the garden as you, as you walk through it or waft through it, or however, you, however you transport yourself around the garden. So as I said, these all feature the Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra under Hiroshi Wakasugi. Their performances are all terrific. They really are. Um, they're beautiful. And, and uh, Takamitsu was very lucky in that he had performers who were extremely dedicated to his art and to doing him justice. And he wrote very sensitively for all of them. And uh, this is a wonderful two-disc set, representative of his music at its finest. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.